Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math body para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol pa rin sa defining hyperbola and determining its standard equation form. Pero in this part, mag identify tayo ng parts, a standard form, general form of the equation of a hyperbola given ng ating center, ang ating isa sa ating mga foci at ang ating endpoints of the conjugate axis, yung coordinates niya. Pero bago kasi mula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, find the parts of a hyperbola whose center is located at ne negative 6, negative 3. One of its foci is located at negative 11, negative 3. And one of the endpoints of the conjugate axis is located at negative 6, 0. So, para simulan nito, mga anak ko, kailangan malaman muna natin kung ano ba yung orientation ng ating graph. Pero malalaman lang natin yun once na naiplot natin yung mga points. So, iplot muna natin yung center. Ang center ay located at negative 6, negative 3. So, asan yun? Nandito. Oops. Bakit? Nawalan ng tinta. <laughs> o, oh, ayan. So, eto yung center. Ang ating foci, yung isa sa ating mga foci ay negative 11, negative 3. So, this is 10, 9, 10. So, nandito yun. Negative 11, negative 3. Ayan. So, this is our foci. Tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Tama. And then, we have negative 6, 0. Negative 6, 0. Ito ang ating uh, end point ng conjugate axis. So, si A yung nilagay natin. Now, looking at the foci, or yung isa natin, first focus natin, lagay natin dyan. At yung center, ano kaya ang nabuo nilang line? It is a horizontal line, which means itong ating hyperbola ay horizontally oriented. Kung horizontally oriented siya, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay x minus h squared okay, over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Ngayon, wala na tayong problema kay HK kasi alam naman natin ang center. Ang center natin ay negative 6, negative 3, which gives us H equal to negative 6 and K equals to negative 3. So, wala na tayong problema doon. Ang problema natin ay yung A squared at B squared. Pero, dahil alam natin at dahil meron tayong center at focus, malalaman natin kung ano yung C natin. So, to identify yung C, yan ang distance from the center to one of the focus. Okay? So, dahil meron ka ditong focus na sa center, bilangin na lang natin. So, ilan yan? One. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung C natin, 5. Okay? O, teka lang ha. Ilagyan lang natin yung mga gagamitin natin mamaya. Do wala naman yung C dun sa formula, kailangan lang natin siya sa pag-identify ng iba pang mga letter. Now, makukuha din natin yung value ni B. Kasi alam naman natin na yung B ay distance from uh, from the center to the end point end point of the 
conjugate axis. So, yun yung distance between the center and the conjugate axis. Dahil may center tayo at conjugate axis, bilangin lang natin gaano ba sila kalayo. So, this is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang B natin ay 3. Now, paano natin makukuha si A? Diba? We have the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, pwede natin ma-identify si A kasi given tayo ng C at B. So, ang C natin ay 5 squared equals to A squared kasi hindi natin alam yan, plus 3 squared. So, 5 squared is 25 is equal to A squared plus 3 squared is 9. Para makuha si A squared, lipat si 9 doon. So, 25 minus 9 is equal to A squared. 25 minus 9 is, tama, 16 equals to A squared. Para maging A lang yan, square root, anong square root ng 16? You have 4. Okay, so you have now A, B, and C. Pwede na natin kunin yung standard form. Teka, enter ko lang to ha. May sumisilip na parts eh. Ayan. So, ang standard form na natin nito ay SF. Okay, so we have X. Diba? X minus H. Dahil ang H natin ay negative 6, dahil may negative sign ka dito, negative times negative, positive na siya. So, magiging X plus 6 na to. Ulit ha, X minus negative 6 kasi yan, diba? So, negative sa negative, positive na siya. Baka nagtataka kayo paano naging positive. Over, ang A squared natin ay, A is 4. Pag in-squared natin, ayun yun, 16. Okay, minus, we have y, dahil ang ating k ay negative din, so may negative ka dito, negative sa ka-negative, positive, so y plus k na siya. Ay, asa na? So, y plus 3 na, y plus 3, okay, squared, and then yung squared ng 3 natin is 9, so equals to 1. So, meron ka ng standard form, okay, and then yung mga parts na. Now, to get the center, we know it is negative 6, okay, negative 3. For our V1, vertices, diba, may dalawa tayo, that's H plus A and then K. Alam naman natin, ang H natin ay negative 6 at ang A natin, sulat natin dito para hindi na tayo taas ng taas. Ang A ay 4, ang B ay, ilan yung B? 3. At ang C ay 5. Tama. Aha, B3, 5. Okay. Ang H natin ay negative 6. Ang K natin ay negative 3. Okay. So, we have here negative 6 plus ang A natin ay 4. And then, yung K natin is negative 3. So, negative 6 plus 4, you will have there negative 2. And then, negative 3. So, eto ngayon yung ating first vertex, uh, vertex of V1 natin. Now, for our V2, uh, that is equal to H minus A. So, negative 6 minus 4. Okay. And then, yung K natin, negative 3 pa rin. So, dahil ito ay negative 6 minus negative 4 KCC, you will have your negative 6 minus 4 KCC. Magiging positive to, magiging negative. So, negative 6 plus negative 4, that's negative 10, and then negative 3. So, eto ngayon yung ating pangalawang vertex. Oh, this is 1. 10 to ha. And then, eto pa yung isa. Okay, now for the endpoints of the conjugate, okay, we have here H and then K plus B. So, W1 is equal to, ang H natin ay negative 6, ang K natin ay negative 3 plus, ano ang B? 3. Okay, so you will have here negative 6, negative 3 plus 3, 0. So, you have here this one. Okay, and then for our W2, we have 0 and then k minus b. Ano ang k natin? Teka, diretso na natin. Negative 3. Diba? Negative 3 minus ano yung b natin? Aha, 3. Okay. Dahil ito ay negative 3 minus 3, magiging negative 6 na siya. So, this is 
0, negative 6. Okay, so that's how you solve mga anak, ha? Okay, for our foci, so yung first focus natin is h plus c. So, negative 6 plus yung c natin ay 5. Tama ba? C ay 5. Tama. And then yung k natin, negative 3. Okay, what is negative 6 plus 5? That's negative 1. And then negative 3. Okay, ito na first o yung inyong mga parentheses. And then, for F2, F sub 2, that is H, so negative 6 minus 5, and then negative 3. So, you will have here negative 11, kasi negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11, minus 3. Okay. So, sundin lang yung mga formula para makuha nyo yung mga parts. For the equation of the asymptotes, we have the formula y is equal to, wait lang, y is equal to, aha, uh -huh, what is that formula? k plus minus b over a x minus h, okay? So, meron tayong dalawang isosolve ha, yung isa k, uh, y is equal to k plus b over a times x minus h. And then, yung isa naman ay y is equal to k minus b over a x minus h. Okay? So, substitute natin. Ang k natin ay negative 3, tama? Plus, ang b natin ay 3. <laughs> Teka lang. Ilan ba? 3 saka 4 yung a. Okay. So, 3 over 4 and then x minus ang h natin ay negative 6. So, you will have your negative 3 plus 3 over 4. X, eto negative sa negative, magiging positive na siya. And then, distribute yung 3. So, you will have your negative 3 plus 3x plus 18 over 4. Ha? Kasi over 1 to. So, 4 times 1, you have 4. And then, LCD, para makombine sila, that's 4. 4. Ito, may in invisible 1 siya, diba? So, 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 3. You have negative 12 plus 3x plus 18. So, you will have here now, y is equal to 3x. Okay. Plus 18. Uh, negative 12 plus 18 is ilan? We have 6, tama, over 4. Or, y is equal to 3x over 4 plus, what is the lowest term of 6 over 4? Divisible by 2, diba? So, this is 3 over 2. Ay, sorry, 3 over 2. 3 over 2. O, ito yung first. Okay, na equation. For the second equation, we have here negative 3 minus, we have... 3 for B, 4 for A, and then X, ilan to? Plus, plus na to ha, 6. E shortcut ko na. Kasi yung, eto naman ay magiging X minus negative 6. So, X plus 6 na siya. O, distribute lang. Pareho lang yung procedure, mga anak ha. Pinagkaiba lang, eto plus, eto minus. So, negative 3 minus 3X. Okay, and then, negative 3 times uh, 6, so negative 18. Okay, over for ito. Okay, so, ano mangyayari dito? You will have to have the denominator, so 4, din ang denominator nila, LCD. 4 divided by 1 is a 4 times negative 3, so the negative 12 minus 3x minus 18. So, you will have here now, aha, negative 3x. What is now negative 12 minus 18? That's negative 30. Tama, 8, 10, carry 1, 30 over 4. Okay, so you will have here y is equal to negative 3x over 4 minus, L, uh, lowest term ng 30 over 4 is, you have 15 over 2. 15 over 2. So, ito yung pangalawa nating equation. And for the general form, okay, so general form na tayo, ha? General form. We have x plus 6. Ito yung standard form natin, di ba? Squared over 16 minus y plus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. So, kukunin natin yung LCD. 
Pero para shortcut na lang natin yan, kasi pag ginawa nating LCD, sige, 16 times 9 kasi ang LCD natin, di ba? 16 times 9, that's 144. So, imumultiply natin to both sides by 144. Okay, now, 104 divided by 16, dahil pinag-times lang naman natin, it follows na ito ay magiging 9 times x plus 6 squared na lang siya. Minus 144 divided by 9, dahil yung 90 times lang naman natin sa 16, so you will have 16 y plus 3 squared equals to 1 times 144, you have 144. And then expand lang ito ha, naalala nyo yung shortcut natin. Ito is square, so x is squared, and then twice, so i-multiply nyo si x times 6 times 2. So, that is x times 6 is 6x times 2. So, you have 12x. So, shortcut to mga anak ka. Dahil ito ay positive, positive yan. And then, square nyo yung last term. So, you will have 36. So, plus 36. Okay, times 9 yan. Minus 16. O, oh, ganun din dito ha. Squared ng y. Y squared. Y times 3. Tiray y times 2. That is... 6y, okay, plus squared ng 3, you have there 9. Okay, equals to 144. Then, eto ngayon ay i-distribute. So, 9x squared, pag minultiply mo yung 9 and 12, you have there 108x plus 9 times 36, you have 324. And then, this one, negative 6 times y squared, negative 16y squared. Negative 16 times 6, 6, 6, 36, carry 3, so 96. So, negative 96y plus negative 16 times 9. Okay, so, dapat negative na to kasi negative times positive is negative. So, you will have here negative 144 equals to 144. So, lipat lang to, tas i-arrange na natin, ha? So, we have 9x squared. Okay na to. Isabay ito. Dapat squared, ha? Parehong letter na squared. So, we have negative 16y squared and then plus 108x. Okay, and then itong y naman, negative 96y. Plus, plus 324 minus 144. Pag nilipat to, minus 144 din siya. Equal 0. So, you will have 9x squared minus 16y squared plus 108x minus 96y. Pag si 32, nag-minus ka ng 144, tas nag-minus ka pa ng 144, that is 36. I-calculator nyo na lang, ha? Equals to 0. So, the general form of our given is 9x squared minus 16y squared plus 108x minus 96y plus 36 equals 0. Ngayon, kung naiintindihan mo ang video na ito at natulungan kita, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, help me up this video by writing your comments. So, sana sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iwan kayo ng comment para matulungan nyo yung mga videos natin. And syempre, don't forget to share it to your classmates kasi baka nababaliw na sila. At least may guide sila. And please visit me on my Facebook page, Love Ma TV. Mga anak, pa-follow naman. Sige na. And let's spread the love of Matt. Thank you and bye!